Not long ago, I completed a long-time goal. I applied to the GIS Certification Institute and became a certified professional in GIS, Geographic Information Systems, or Geographic Information Sciences. The certified professional is called GISP, GIS Professional. The GIS Certification Institute, GISCI, is a tax-exempt, not-for-profit organization that provides the Geographic Information Systems, or GIS community, with an internationally recognized complete certification program. The institute is comprised of leading nonprofit associations such as the American Association of Geographers, the National States Geographic Information Council, the University Consortium for GI Science, the Urban and Regional Information Systems Association, and others focused on the application of GIS and geospatial technology. GISCI offers participants from the first early years on the job until retirement. But there's another video of mine that says, you know, do GIS people actually retire? Um, it's part of our it's part of our inmost being, right? We don't really retire. We move on to new horizons and keep on contributing to the community. But anyway, GISCI offers participants from these early years to lifelong learning and beyond a positive method of developing value for professionals and employers in the GIS profession. GISP actually has a fascinating history and there are now over 10,000 active GISPs located throughout the world. Not surprisingly, you can find a map of their locations on the GISCI website. A GISP, therefore, is a certified geographic information systems professional. GISP has met minimum standards for educational achievement, professional experience, and the manner in which he or she contributes back to the profession. A GISP must abide by higher guidelines for ethical behavior. Ethics is a key part of GIS. A GISP continues to educate and re-educate him or herself while preparing for recertification. A GISP has had their professional background scrutinized and reviewed by the GISCI, an independent third-party organization. A GISP can reside anywhere in the world. Active GISPs are currently found in all 50 states and dozens and dozens of foreign countries. A GISP is more than a practitioner of GIS technology. A GISP is a professional engaged in the profession and networking with other professionals. The current GISP certification process consists of an application that describes an applicant's background in ethics, education, experience, and contributions to the profession. Also, there is an exam associated with the GISP, showing that you have met these certain requirements. Once the application, accompanying documentation, payment, and the exam are submitted, the review generally takes a period of time for approval. Some GISPs are performing groundbreaking work in the process of refining that exam over time. GISP evolves, the exam evolves. It's based on the Geospatial Technology Competency Model, or GTCM, approved by the Department of Labor back in 2010. Are you a busy GIS professional? And maybe you think this process is going to be onerous or complicated. Not to worry. Bill Hodge, Tony Speechy, and others at GISCI have labored long and hard on the application process to make it as straightforward as possible. Although it takes a while to assemble the necessary documentation, write the statements you feel you need, take the exam. Number one, I would just like to share that it took me much less time than I had expected, particularly since I maintain an active curriculum vita. And number two, GISP, becoming a GISP, was absolutely worth doing. Upon re receiving my acceptance letter, getting this on my on my badge and certificate, I was proud to have attained this achievement and more importantly, to give back to my profession that has given so much to me. I encourage you to pursue getting your GISP and wish you all the best in your ongoing journey. Thanks.